So, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Hero Besides 4. <laughs> of course, we're going to run the Salas mod as uh, the Scourge. And we, uh, well, we're currently just gobbling up wherever we can. We still have the issue that the Scourge of Lordaeron does whatever they want. But they are my vassals, so I guess I don't, don't care too much. And I have confirmed it with the devs that this is some sort of bug. <laughs> So I am also willing to just inherit them via, so, uh, via uh, commands. But for now, I'm kind of alright with how things look. Either way, I think as far as I remember, yep, we don't have anything. So let's get another gang rolling. So, lovely. We're currently also waiting for the next uh, uh, <coughs> age to arrive and the institutions as well. This is all culture conversion as far as I remember. And yeah, we're, we're currently just uh, doing conquest after conquest after conquest. Our governing capacity is slowly but surely looking a little, little, little bit worse. <coughs> but I think we can live with that. As far as I remember, I can also build a bunch more uh, stuff. I'm not sure. Might be. Either way. Change all of that. Aha! Let's get together, and then you guys will deal with that issue. Evil, evil cultists. Clearly not as uh, stable as my fantastic uh, religion. Clearly. So let's keep inciting worship. Give everyone a bit of a taste of my religion. Brute force your way around. I'm all about it. So. Uh, Dicardi is... Yeah, I currently don't have anything with you. So I feel like you should be the next target again. We could also go for Uldua, for some reason you're at war with. Okay. I mean, do that, but I don't really see that happening. Why are you at war with each other? I don't know. You know what? Let's just get dudes over. We are. Uh, we don't really have rebellions popping up, but we do have a few more cores to be doing. This is still waiting. This will take a second. Uh, da, 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 da. We are not done with innovativeness yet, right? No, not quite. <coughs> So, can spend that admin. Here you go. That's still too much admin. Right, we have like a really low cooperation cost. Uh, then, well, I know what I want to do. This is super inefficient. Let's do it. We're not gonna gain prosperity anyway. <laughs> I'm not sure what this war is, but I'm just gonna step in and take over. Because I'm getting <laughs> I'm getting a little bit bored of waiting there. Oh wait, no you're not we're not doing that. You guys are just gonna stay st here. So You here, you here. And I guess I mean I did position my armies next to the these guys, but let's get another army involved. <coughs> uh Oh, and tech has been taken. Sure, let's take it. Oh, a new tech, no tech, new tech at idea group. Words, admin. We are absolutely gonna go for. Now, I don't want imperialism. This would give the merciless war castle spell. I. Autonomy would give me nothing super needed. 
After this, we already have like a crazy amount, so I think there's no. I mean, there's the state's governing cost. And what do we get? A ton of statism, favor gain, yeah. unrest reduction, nothing, nothing really, nothing really. Do I just want to do it for the statewide governing cost reduction? No, I don't. Does law do anything for me? No, not really. I think I'll just go for development cost reduction. Hmm. Are we still focusing on admin? I assume. Oh, we do also have a uh, spell. Actually, do I need to Im improve my spell stuff? I don't really need much there. So I don't think I do. <coughs> Oh, there we go. You're getting somewhere, lovely. Oh, these guys have like a crazy defensiveness. So this is gonna take a while. Oh, Global Zetland Greece, fantastic. It's gonna speed this stuff up a little bit. Uh, let's also make sure that we keep doing this. I mean, I'm, s I'm, I'm expecting this stuff to be completely covered by uh, Scourge of Lordaeron at some point. <laughs> As, if I just keep looking away. <coughs> so... I mean, I don't see any boats popping up, so I assume that the Arcadia and everything are not really doing much. How's this? Scullamancy. This would actually... Uh, free policies is good, but it costs me 10,000 to... No, oh, costs me literally nothing. I see. <laughs> cool, cool, thank good talk. Just took a second for the game to realize that this is an op opportunity or possibility. So. Uh, siege ability. Lovely. Speed it up a little bit. Yeah. I guess a little bit of uh, a few water drops, droplets on a hot stone. Please go away, let me siege this. I'd appreciate that. There we go. Yeah, you guys just swarm around and then kill them. Jesus Christ, what's happening with my advisors? Stop dying. <laughs> uh, there's a reform progress. We'll take that. Lovely. Let's see if they do anything wacky. I mean, they could technically take this fight, right? There we go. Travel Nazarov. When does the next age come around? A bunch of stuff happens. All right, whatever. We are gonna get our splendor. We're gonna get more modifiers. That's the only thing that matters. Let me also just quickly check here. We currently have like only the village hall tolerance reduction, right? Yeah, we could have a lot more. <coughs> so it's even one war. It's not even one war. Oh, that's shit. Let's see what I can take. It also kind of means that I don't need to do much more. Anyway. Okay, now we have also this stuff fairly cheap. At least it's gonna put our uh, ground land up there, right? Neat. Neat, I say. Scholomancy in death now. 
sure. I mean, I don't want, really want to invest the money into the rifts. I mean, if I would get a lot more money, yes, but I don't get a lot more money. So let's quickly just finish the Scholomancy. Just throwing corpses at it. So. I... Get the fact, that was definitely... Oh, well, let's get another round. Fuck it. There we go. Yeah, just a bunch of manpower. I mean, this time I'm actually throwing literally corpses at the problem. Right? <laughs> Undead. Uh, currently, I don't think there's anything that I desperately would want to add to the mix. Yeah. I kind of want to keep this open so I can uh, see that I have something to do. So. You guys are for some reason super large. I'm gonna take your forts away. And then I'm gonna keep you inland. Easy. So, there's a bit more. I mean, there's a bit of development around here. We can push these guys towards these borders. Leadership of Silvermoon. Wait, Silvermoon? Yeah. I should have probably taken a closer look at the event itself. <laughs> Alright, we are actually up to 6%. Yeah, now this is ticking down again. Let's just basically wait until we have all of this done. Okay, let's let them convert and then we wait until all of this is done. I'm gonna wait for 10,000. Actually, no, we're not making that much money. Okay, it's currently reduced because of that. Uh, but my trade... We're currently collecting here, right? But I guess there's not that much happening. How much of the trade is currently floating out? None of it, right? Yeah, I, I think I desperately need to consolidate the, the territories around here. So... Let's get this stuff done. Let's keep an eye out on uh, this one. 120, we can do the next army. This does not even overextend us. Uh, I could take that raid here, but there's no real meaning behind it. I would just do it for the sake of it. I guess I could maybe look if I want to put a tr uh, some trade down there. That's a thing. Uh, we have military, but far more importantly, we have potentially some more diplo. So, diplo. What do we have? Uh, unreasonable stuff. So this is so expensive. I mean, I do get a lot of reductions as far as I remember. Wait, didn't I have like a super... Cool. Wait, would I get my points back if I just cancel all of that? Do I get the right amount of points back is the question. Yeah. We get... There's also... Yeah, did we, we actually get more points back. Alright. Quick change of pace. This might make this take a little bit longer, but... For the sake of efficiency, we're gonna do that. Yeah, this is a different story now. This is a lot cheaper. <laughs> I can just keep the end of button pressed for this to make this a little bit faster. Yeah, let's keep that in mind the next time we do because this is a massive difference. So, and there was also, I think, Blood Elf. Yep, yeah, get rid of it. So, 
So. Yeah, sure. Burning Legion, that's your issues. We have already talked about that. Speculative research. Uh, we still are gonna keep that active. We're not done yet. I guess with 5,000 we will do the next step. Or start spending money again. So Dracardi have eaten up the rest of these guys. So we are gonna be happily waiting for this to come around. So 5,000. So we've done all of these special ones. No, we know we didn't. Good to know. Now we have done all the special ones. So we can do this or we can start doing this stuff. Which I think is quite valuable. Yeah, manufactories. Let's get our income rolling. We can still currently take some f some more stuff. Well, I'm willing to invest that already. <coughs> of course, this religion stuff and never sticks around for long. Uh, we're gonna save up until these cores are done, so we can state the rest. That should be a state. Oh, well, this technically is not a state because oh, this is all right. Yeah. Thanks, game. Whatever. Let's put ourselves up to the limit. Wall garden tunka look. Nah, Lich King's will, my dude. You go here, you go here. And you guys quickly deal with this problem. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, right, I completely forgot about that part. Oh, well, we're gonna come around to deal with you. We have a bunch of dudes coming around. Anyway, uh, we have points to spend, and I guess Diplo currently is not gonna be spent on this. Oh no, there is a little bit. But that's it. Alright, then we're gonna invest into this stuff here. Let's get the gold up to 5 at least. This one we're gonna spend near, uh, quite well. So, we're gonna be a little bit more like that here. Very simple. Alright, oh, this was just dump. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Armies should do their work. When you're done, you can come down and start dealing with some of these issues. Oh no, wait, uh, the burn yeah, like I said, the Burning Legion stuff should show up. And get their work done. Degradation. We'll take Diplo. I really should have taken military. Military really doesn't matter for me at the moment. Hey, no general. Let's go. Fantastic. This army is dead. It's not gonna come back. You're done. Lovely. Next one. I'm just gonna deal with these forts. Let's deal with Valgard a little bit. Oh, Valgard is actually completely occupied. Fantastic. I mean, to be honest, there wasn't that much to occupy to begin with, but... It is now done. So, there's only Valgard and Tunka Tunkalok. Uh, Tunkalo, or whatever they're called. And we are on well, uh, well on our way to eat them up. Lovely. So, you're done. You're done here. And Tunkalo, uh, Tunkalo. I'm just gonna give them a random name. Cost me a bit more. But so that they are done, we're doing this. Uh, well, <laughs> let's wait for these guys to be done. <laughs> oh, you're done as well. 
Okay, then you just charge down here. And we just need to clean that up. I also will read it. Mana factories all around. <laughs> okay, so I guess we pushed them to the to the edge. Wait, this is not the capital of all God. Oh, well, all right. I guess we should have gone back there and quickly deal with this. Get the hell out of here. I mean, we're still gonna eat them up, probably. There's no question about that. Another global headland grease. I'll take it. So. Go, Burning Legion. Do your work. I mean, you are doing your work fairly well, to be honest. <laughs> You're surprisingly enough a very good vessel. Did, did I even march you already? I don't think I did. Uh, oh no, Scorch vessels, we cannot march. Okay. Then don't. I have something to do here. We're getting... We're getting along. Parliament. Monarchal Constitution, which is an unrest reduction. I think I'm definitely gonna do that, actually. I have more than enough uh, uh, absolutism, so I don't mind at all. Are you running here? No. Let me chase this army down so we don't get too annoyed. So it's a shame that my necropolises don't really... Uh, Do any uh, zones of control. Well, but you guys are doing fantastic. We're gonna get the rest of Valgard occupied while you guys start occupying random stuff. You're gonna go over here. The Tarakadi are doing some nonsense. And we are here to stop them, the villains. Now everyone gets some love. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. So, well, guards, you will also be gobbled up on the side. Yep. Easy. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And we only had. Oh, so one of these I still had a core on. Yes, of course. Uh, the Arcadia also done. Uh, do we just wait? Yeah, we'll wait on this thing, until these things are caught. <laughs> I don't have a reason to rush. Let's see if we can make the Arcadi burn a decent bit more. I'm a Rasprood. Somewhere, I assume. Oh, this has been picked, lovely. Uh, this is probably the last one, right? Yeah. And we do get a supply limit in Greece. Well, we are currently a little bit more stationed towards the uh, siege aspect. So I would say, well, first of all, everybody go home. So I can actually organize the armies. Oh, there we go. Next step. All right, I would, uh, yeah, I would go to 10 artillery pieces. There we go, this can also get removed. So this one is gonna be funky because we click that, which separates the infantry, but we can just reunite uh, them then. There's no one here. But then this. And. 
Every army gets another infantry. Uh, you're gonna get one here. I'm not sure I've clicked that correctly. And you. So. And when after everything is done, we just reunite them. And we'll see how well this works. Not doing anything funky, are they? No. So you guys are done. You make your way over here. Wait, did I? Oh, you're on the wrong pos- yeah, okay. Well, then go over here. Army. 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 I assume that you guys are also done. Yep. Lovely. There we go. Army. You guys. Up to the coat. That works fantastically. And then we just need to wait. Uh, 16 is what we're gonna wait for. But otherwise, yeah, just keep fighting. Keep, keep working. <coughs> we will keep doing that. This has been picked ahead of time, whatever. Let's just drain the Dracardi of all their manpower. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. Keep him down. Oh, we do have a special thing here. Tech cost reduction. Well... Don't mind if I do. Splendor. There we go. Administrative. We don't need cooperation cost. I think it's time that we take the governing capacity modifier. That's not gonna really fix our problem. But it will lighten it a little bit. Mana overload. I mean, like, the only thing that I really would care about is this improvement here, really. The rest of the stuff really doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, you guys come together. Uh, I think I'll keep the admin, because we're gonna need a lot when I take uh, over the Dracardi territory. Cool. Good for you. That you're demanding that. It's very cute. Oh wow, actually. <laughs> I guess we had some slight increase in uh, values. I would like the event that just gives me uh, more stuff. But I guess we can't have everything. We're nearly done with this. So... Next one here is happening in tech 18. Well, that's a second. So it seems like we have done everything. So, time to take a bite. Uh, we're gonna finish this up, of course. We're just gonna do state by state. That feels reasonable. Who the hell is this? This is someone else. Winter X. Okay. All right, this one seems reasonable. Uh, this involves basically all of the guys, but see if I care. All right, we don't have. Now we are struggling with the governing capacity, obviously. <coughs> we could also integrate Dragon Flayer now. I don't need Dragonfly around, to be honest. Okay, so 28 is the next uh, army. That's gonna take a second. So you guys just need to... ...do that. Oh, I love getting free stuff. So, we don't have anything to convert, so... Oh wait, Mercantilism, right. This is what I want to do as well. 
You know what? There you go. It does a bit of aggressive expansion, but it also does goods produced. So, we'll live with that. It should be far more valuable than in the base game. Because aggressive expansion at this point doesn't matter for us. This rest of this stuff is getting done. Lovely! Uh, you guys could take care of that. You know that? I could have been so friendly to do this. But no. I need to do shit myself. It's got them burning legion. And of course it's directly the army who is actually next to the other rebel. I see how it is. Oh, I completely forget about this territory. Alright. Yeah, this, this is all uh, your business. You can get rid of that stuff. <coughs> uh, not that. That. I guess we could just leave this army here the next time we fight uh, the Lakadi. At the moment I'm not desperate for armies everywhere. Also, important. Oh, right, this I also need to change. This is gonna take a while. Have you guys in the wrong position? Uh, I think you, none of these matter, they're all under forts. Oh, well, <laughs> these guys picked the wrong place to, to uh, poke up. So, who do we have left? Ah, there's a handful more Red Fang Separatists. Can we do something with the Navy? Well, we could go to 40, and I think we are gonna definitely get our boats up, uh, our transport ships up. So that we can transport everybody that needs to be transported. Just to wait until I get out to all of the important buildings. Or oh, the interesting buildings. At the moment I'm just doing money, money, money. <laughs> okay, we're close. And of course, admin-wise, we're gonna do this. That is gonna do some healthy stuff to our uh, income. Turn the rebels and lodge it. This is burning legion problem. Let them do what they need to do. So that. Alright, but we're gonna end this episode here. So go always like subscribe and shenanigans. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!